Ciao. Finish him off! What the? It's laser beak! Stop him! Get back, everyone! He's going to explode! Ratchet, how long do we have before his energy drains away completely? Not long, unless I can replace this. <sighs> Beeljack and I'll stay here to guard Optimus Prime. Hey guys, welcome back for today's unboxing video. We got a uh, Ratchet to do. And. Uh, before I get into that, uh, and as we're being accompanied by Ironhide protecting his buddy Wiljack in the background, I got another box in today. And as you can see from the box that Ratchet is in, this one is pretty big. And I'm really looking forward to unboxing this one. And um, I'll probably be recording that one possibly tomorrow. But I got some other comic videos I want to make as well. so. Um, I'm gonna have to see about that. And concerning Ratchet, um, well, he he's pretty much the same transformation as Iron Knight is, at least is what I'm expecting. So I'm supposed to know what to do, but it was a couple of days ago again, and I probably didn't do it in the right order with uh, Iron Hide. So uh, yeah, let's just see what what's up with this uh, transformation. And this is the front side of the box and some side box art this box came in a little bit busted up as you can see came in ambulance van mode and we've got some pictures here where you can see how he scales up to optimus prime and blue streak I, i'm guessing uh, we got two faces the panel thing which I got with Iron Knight as well but doubt I'll ever be using that but who knows his guns and his repair kit thingy and two wrenches right there so pretty cool accessories he won't be having the jetpack that Iron Knight had at least I'm not expecting it okay so what drops out and it immediately catches my eyes is that I'm gonna have to apply some stickers on his shoulders. And before I started the transformation, I'll be adjusting the camera again. Put it more downwards so you guys can follow along as I'm struggling tonight with transforming this guy. I got the little card thing again. This time around, it's a bit different than the one that uh, Iron Hide had. And the sticker sheet. Pretty cool, pretty cool. The little trading card. With some cool art on there. And his endurance and intelligence and whatnot. Of course there's the manual. I'll probably be needing that again. But we'll see how that goes. It's a big sheet. And the back side. Quite some steps as you can see. I'll be trying to do it without the manual but I might need it, so I'll keep it close by. And then for the box, we've got two boxes, a big one and a small one. As you can see, we've got the alternative face right there, which is probably the one I'll be using. And his guns and blast effect of his repair weapon. And some wrenches right there. Pretty cool accessories. Some weaponry in here as well. He's got the 
same rocket launcher as I ride at. Just pick that out real quick. And a cool minor detail thing is that this is white in Richest's box, and I think it was I think it was gray on uh, Iron Eyes. Might be red, but I think it was gray. So you can apparently put all the weaponry on this table thing as well. He has the same weapon as Iron Eye has. Oh. He actually got two and I think Iron Eye only had one but Richard actually got two which is weird because Richard is not the fighting type of guy but and then we have this little thing which you can apply on the band as well at least that's the way it was with the uh, G1 hmm I'm not too sure if I can actually fit it on here but with the original 1980s G1 transformers you could fit it on top of the van but I guess this is just a handgun now so let me just put stuff back and then change the angle of the camera and then let's transform. All right, so I guess uh, this should be a good angle for the transformation uh, part. So what I remember, what I recall from last time around is that well, of course, we got his chest front apart on the front right here, which transfers into his uh, thighs, legs, uh, and feet. And I remember there was something going on with these wheels, and I'm just gonna have to push those in. Um, we'll see how that goes. And on the back side, I have to pull this out. This is where his hat is tucked in, and flip that around through the whole roof, like it's three or four separate parts, moving parts, flip it around, tuck it in his chest, and then put the arms around. So uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I don't really, really remember where to start. There we go. So uh, the back side, I, I took the uh, rear view window out and you can see that his face is tucked in there. You can just turn it around. And then what we're gonna have to do is flip this all the way and then tuck it inside his, um, yeah, his chest part. So what I'll be looking for is um, getting the arms out getting the legs out uh, putting them uh, in the right position and that should give me enough room for uh, this little tucking in thing maneuver so uh, yeah we'll see how that goes yeah okay so you're gonna have to put quite a lot of force on these wheels to tuck them in right there and yeah they're they're very tight so his front wheels you can just pull them out a little bit to give it some moving space and then they're supposed to turn around Somehow, I'm not entirely sure how that went, but I'll figure it out. Uh, what else? else? Alright, so flip like that. Flip them out, like so. This should give us space for... Uh, uh, 
it's uh, quite a mess right now, but can I pull on this? Nope. I remember that with the toes you can just turn them around like so. Hmm, let me just see how this is supposed to be going. I'm thinking it has to click in there, but I'm not entirely sure. So let me just put it back. So I'm thinking there might be an extra hinge here. So move it like this. but there's this little thing sticking out right here and you have to clear that and then put this panel flip it over and then you can click this one in there to make the legs look more tight turn them around like so and then we have the hip, the hip part and the chest part still to do. So pulling this out and then moving it up to clear the hips. And then with the legs having turned around, we can just move these hip panels around as well but before we can do that I think I'd better focus on the uh, I'm tucking this in let me just see how this went because I don't know oh there we go okay so this is tucked in like this on a double hinge and just pull it out and then I had to Pull this over. Wait, no. I have to pull this over like this, I think. And then move it all the way to the back. At least that's how I thought it went. I think that's how I had to do it. So Apparently, I didn't even have to move the uh, face around. I think this is the max. I can pull it back, put it back. Because there's this little triangle shaped thing, and I think I'll just have to leave it like this. And flip the arms over, I think. Okay, so I gotta push the arms in first and then and then have the windows go past the other windows, I think. So like so. That makes it a little bit tighter. Then we can move the front chest part in here. And that's a click. That does click. And I think I'm not sure if I did that on iron height. Turn the Z around. Lock the arms into place. Like this little thing, like this little clip right here. They should have done that on Wheeljack as well because that's something I was really missing on Wheeljack. 
and his arms just keep on going out whenever you try to move his arms. So just little things like that make a huge difference. So now we can move these hip panels to the back side and lock those wheels into place like so and clickety click. Makes him a bit more sturdy, but I already noticed with Ironhide that if you want to position him and put the legs out, you might as well just take the panel out and uh, give him a little bit more room. I noticed that there are some material differences and um, uh, design differences with Ironhide because these panels are a lot bigger on Ratchet than they were on, uh, on Ironhide. should probably give him some more flexibility with pushing his legs to the front because this is a movement that I cannot make an iron height I don't think but I'll compare it to when, uh, when this is done because we still got the arms to do and I can flip this open take his fist out and Full hand articulation, no separate fingers, and I just really wish they would at least give me an index finger so they can point at things, but that might be a bit too hard to do on small robots like these, smaller robots. Even though the RC robot I had did have that as well, and I think only, I think only Soundwave had that actually. It does. So this is where one of the Autobot Red Cross sticker has to go. Oh, this, this hand actually does come out. Maybe, maybe there are some third party hands with that you can plug in here, I don't know. So here we have Ratchet, pretty cool robot, he looks the part and I am going to change the face around, so let, let me just grab that and uh, sadly this one doesn't have any middle joint either so you can't push his torso backwards which is something which I'm really missing on uh, some of the robots. But Regardless, let me just get the face and put that on there. And might as well just get some wrenches as well. I need to take the tape off from here. So 
Okay, so what I'm seeing on this uh, alternative face is that you can see a little bit of paint here uh, below his eyebrows, dingies, whatever it is. And on the left side, or his right side, it shows a little bit more than on the left side. So I'm not sure if I like that, the way that looks. But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. This is red shirt, all right. Pretty cool. I think I like him better than Iron Knight, actually. Even though he does not have his sticker supplied yet. Somehow, I think it's, I think it looks a bit more compact or something. But let me just put the face back. Get it. Infecting out with this little gun thing. that it has to go over this one but it doesn't really fit that well so I'm not sure if I have to push it in more don't want to break it but I guess you have to leave it hanging like this and then if you turn it it drops out so you, I guess you can glue it or maybe fill it up with some material but it's not a tight fit that's for sure Just apply some weaponry on him. Oh well. I can just fold his hand around it. Whoa, that's tight. That's kind of tight. It's interesting to see that how some joints are very tight and others are not. big difference between one joint and the other. Okay, so this hand is really loose on here. I don't think I can make it click. I don't think. But it's really loose. Maybe I do have to make it click. I guess that just wasn't applied properly. Um, so the face does look a bit weird. I'm not sure if I can show you guys properly. Maybe uh, that will matter. But it just shows a little bit more on the left side, like he's raising his eyebrow or something. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is um, putting the three of them next to one another and then... Wait, let me just see if I can position this a little bit different. And yeah, so what I'll be doing is uh, putting them next to one another and changing the camera angle a little bit more, putting it lower. So you guys can see these guys from the front and I, I'll give you guys a little final verdict of what I ran into and what I would have liked to see different and things to look out for if you plan on buying these uh, robots. So yeah, I'm cleaning up a little bit here and then I'll be, uh, I'll be back. Uh, yeah, Just give me a minute. Okay, so I think this uh, camera angle works well. I'm just gonna take a little sip of, uh, of my drink. Mm. Okay, so first off, they look pretty cool. They look uh, they look pretty uh, cartoon accurate. Um, I'm, I'm happy with them. So that's first. And with these two guys, what I don't really like is the way they made their chests. Uh, I can understand the whole folding part with a, with a rear view window and the side windows having to fold that together inside their chest. But 
I think they could have done a better job with folding it, maybe even more. And then um, having the insides have a gray color because I think that uh, certainly for Ironhide, but I think Ratchet as well, they're supposed to be gray on like right here uh, and not, not, not white or red. Maybe that doesn't apply for Ratchet and it only does for, um, for Ironhide. That could be, I'm not entirely sure about that. But if they had done that and make it fold up a little bit more, they could have like make this less bulky because it's like really lumpy. And I think it would have been better if it had been like, if, if it had been like maybe half, maybe two thirds of the part it is now, because uh, I don't think that looks really good. And from the side, if they have their arms down, <clears throat> you can just see like, it's, it's pretty holy. And if they had done that, they could have made the chest go backwards a little bit more, have the, have the torso. And then I think it would have looked a little bit better and um, a little bit more tight as well, because if he has his arms right like this, it, it just does not look that good. It could have been better, I think. So that's that's first, that's the first thing. Um, the accessories are pretty cool. Uh, they fit with the characters. Having the jetpack for Ironhide and the repair things for, uh, for Ratchet is pretty cool. Uh, got some extra stickers for Ratchet. That's cool as well. And yeah, they just look pretty good. So um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty happy with that. The whole side panel things with the legs and the wheels is pretty cool. The backside looks good. From the top, not so much. I don't, I don't like the way that looks. And as you can see right now, it, it's just pretty bulky, as I said before, with uh, when I was showing you guys on Ratchet. Um, so basically, the chest part, they could have done a better job of that. Um, yeah. As for the all the other parts of the robots, they are pretty cool. Uh, I think the Ratchet on the arms, on the shoulders, is very tight. You can't move it around with uh, holding the side parts together. Um, I'm missing. Yeah, I'm really missing the the torso um, joint where you can just push the torso backwards. All they can do is turn like this and not have some kind of swivel in there to make them look up. If you want to have them look up, you have to like put the legs all the way back and then you have balance issues. So that doesn't work. As for the... Uh, leg movement they can go you can turn them around a lot so that's pretty cool um, as I was saying with the hip or um, groin area I don't know these little panels which are just different from what Ratchet has because he has these re really big flaps so you can tell that that just makes him be more maneuverable. And that's something. Oh yeah, you can do that on Ironite as well. So I guess it doesn't really make a difference. Okay, so I was expecting Ironite to be less maneuverable like that, but I guess it works the same. Um, yeah, they're pretty cool robots. You get two different faces. You get a lot of accessories in the forms of guns and uh, special effects so that's pretty cool would I recommend them yeah I don't think there are any better cartoon accurate versions than this um, but I have to say that I'm not familiar with all the toy lines and manufacturers so I'm not entirely sure about that they look pretty cool even though they do have their little uh, their little issues they look pretty cool and yeah, maybe they could have even make the bumper flip backwards so you only see like this part of the chest and not the whole part. Maybe that would have even been better. Regardless of that, they are pretty big boys and Wheeljack is significantly smaller. As you can see, I don't think that's com uh, cartoon accurate at all. 
I think Wheeljack should have been a bit bigger, not bigger than those guys, but a bit, bit bigger than he is right now, because he's just really small. So if I put him in between, you can see the difference in, in size. It's pretty big. So I don't think that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, so they could have made him a bit bigger. And as I was saying in the unboxing review uh, video, his joints are very loose, like really loose. And that has a lot of positioning and uh, balance problems. So if I want to see that, I'm just moving his legs and he just bends backward. So that's, that's a really big issue. Um, that might be fixable. As I've mentioned before in, in the previous video, uh, I've read some stuff about pouring some nail polish in there, like see-through clear nail polish. And that fills it up a bit so it becomes a little bit more tight. Kind of scared of doing that, but I might try it in, 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 in the case of uh, this guy, because this is just not, this is not, I mean, how are you supposed to position? <laughs> you can't, you won't, you won't even hold one position. So that doesn't work. Um, so his looks are really good. Like, I mean, this is real Jack. This is just real Jack of the cartoon. It looks really good. Uh, the wings are cool. The back piece, they should have made it click in there somewhere. It does fit in, in there with a, with a little latch thing in a hole, but it doesn't click. So it's, it's just very loose. And the biggest concern with this uh, with this figure is the fact that his arm shoulder parts, when they flip in, they don't lock into place at all. Um, maybe maybe I've maybe I've been a little bit too short-sighted because there seems to be a little hole right here and a little peg right there. Let me just see if I can show you guys that right there and they seem to be on the right height but they don't reach so i'm not sure there doesn't seem to be any room to to uh to get it closer to that i'm not sure what's going on with that so they should have just made these parts click fall into place click and be done with it because if you move his arms around now, it just opens up like that. So that's a, that's a positioning issue. His face is very accurate, very cool. It goes for all three guys. Um, balance issues. Wheeljack really has balance issues. At least my version uh, does. In the comments of the Wheeljack video, uh, Johan reacted and his joints are pretty tight. So I guess it varies. I guess it just varies. Um, his arm joints are good and his leg joints are just bad. So I can't really like, put him in an active position. You see that? I, I wanna move his arm and I'm just holding this back with my thumb because if I do that, naturally it's just gonna open up. So um, yeah, position, positioning is an issue with Wheeljack. Because, because of the loose, very loose legs. The shoulder cannon is cool, really belongs there. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very cool character. I think if the hips were not such an issue, I think I would be the happiest with Wheeljack because he just looks very cool. Um, so yeah, that's it for the review of these three guys, uh, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Here, see that? <laughs> he just uh, he just falls over. Um, yeah, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, one more Transformer coming up, and that will be it for this month, I think. And then I'm gonna have to wait for some money to come in, and then I might get another one. I'm thinking about Hot Rod actually and tracks but i might just change my uh, my selection and i might even go for bruticus or devastator i'm not sure either way um 
things are coming up and uh, yeah have a good one later